Well, you're always going to learn the hard way, and that's how you remember where all the sandbars and oyster bars are. But the first bet would be to go at low tide and uh, go run around at low tide when all your uh, obstructions are, are out there above the water. So at low tide, all your oyster beds out here are going to be, you know, upwards of three feet out of the water. So you'll see them very clearly. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people run with GPS, but GPS doesn't do any good if, if you don't know where you are in the first place. So maybe run around at low tide, make a little track on your GPS, and then when you come back at high tide another time, you'll know right where the good water is and, and you'll have an idea of where some of the things are you where you shouldn't boat. With kayaks and paddle boards, of course, you have tides and currents. You, you don't want to paddle uh, down current for two hours enjoying the scenery and then go to turn around and realize that you've got a four hour paddle back. So you want to keep in mind which way the current's going at all times and uh, maybe go up current until you get tired and then have a leisurely paddle back. And I guess there's always these stories we hear every now and again of people that go out on their kayaks or even larger boats and end up getting stranded as the tide goes out. What, what can you say about that? The outgoing tide, you, you just have to be extra cautious that you don't get stranded in a, in a small tidal pool acres back in the marsh where no one can assist you until the tide comes back in.